After a long, hard day of uh, island hopping, we oh. found some wonderful food yes. at the Gayang Seafood Restaurant. Yeah. So this is like an aquarium with a difference, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a live supermarket, you know? You just pick up some pipi, some oysters, pretty big oysters over yeah. here, but they're big. Have a look at these ones. No, I think this is the latest drinking craze, isn't it? Okay, they're in the bottles because apparently they fight a lot. Oh, he's, he's a little bit nasty, isn't he? Oh, hello. Uh, what are they called? They're a special type of prawn in Malaysia. Mantis yeah? prawn, isn't it? A mantis prawn. Yeah. Very lively. It looks like a lobster. <laughs> Do you know why they're in the bottle? Because they fight. It's yeah. like an Aussie and an Englishman work, running around islands all day. For... They should put us in bottles. Yes. <laughs> These are the pearl lobsters. Pearl. There you are. Don't get too close to these. I used to catch these all the time. Big. That's the size of a steak. So you don't order a dozen oysters here, you just have one. Malaysian style restaurant. Mm. Mm. The trick is suck it and chew it slowly because when it's so fresh and live, <coughs> you don't want to swallow it. You'll love the way that. As they say in the Malaysia, car. super bagus or in scully. Okay, guys, we are here at the waterfront, which is a popular spot for locals and tourists alike. Very nice. You can find lots of different types of cuisines here. There's bars and whatnot but later at night. But if you really want to relax, get yourself some reflexology and a massage. What do they call that? That's the temporary bridge. The temporary bridge. That's been around for 30 years. <laughs> but we have these in Australia for flooding and they're very low and after the flood goes, the bridge is still there, hopefully. Yeah, you gotta be careful though, when it's flooding that you don't sort of misjudge the depth. Yeah, you gets, don't enter these. <laughs> get swept could, away. <laughs> a lot of cars could get that swept away in a flood. Holding hands and skimming stones. Yes. This is getting worse. <laughs> Tiptoes through the tulips, through the tulips now. Quite a few of them. That's the rest of the mountain we couldn't see from the clouds. <laughs> We're not far from Australia. I think, you know, a few I'm connections. I'm sure there's some connection there. Uh, pan flute. Oh, harmonica. <laughs> Holy dooly, man. <laughs> wow, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Check it out. That behind us is Mount Kinabalu, which is 12,455 feet above sea level. The tallest mountain in Malaysia. Okay, so we're about halfway, it took us about an hour, and yeah. driving up the road here. This is supposed to be a very good view from here, which is pretty damn impressive. I don't know if you can see, there's these vertical waterfalls halfway up, and then the rest of the mountain's up in the cloud. 